Hey, what's up guys, it's Steve. So let's say you have this dilemma. Say you are an avid Android user. You decide to switch over the iPhone because you haven't used one in like seven years and you like tech and you want to check it out, right? Yeah, I know, first world problems. So one of the things that's missing from like a Galaxy S7 Edge or something like that is the Qi wireless charging, which sucks because with the iPhone, you can't just throw it down on a charging pad and let it charge overnight or while you're sitting at your desk or whatever. You gotta go take the plug the little thunderbolt cable in there and let it charge by wire, right? One way you can get around that is getting a case like I did for like 19 bucks on Amazon. It's a Qi receiver, so it's got a real thin Qi pad in the back, and then it's got this little thunderbolt um, plug that goes in the bottom in the thunderbolt port on the phone. It's all attached to the case there. And the thing that's nice about this one, I'll do a close up on this so you can see it better, but the thing that's nice on this one is you can move this little thing out of the way. So if you still need to charge it with your cable, like me in my car, I just have the cable. I don't have a wireless pad in my car. So I can still plug it in by the cable. If I want to sync with iTunes and don't want to do it wirelessly or you know transfer my pictures or whatever, I can still use the cable. So if you get one of these, be careful and make sure that you get one uh, that has that thing removable. And if you want this exact case, I'll have a link in the description. But uh, it's a really nice case. It's thin. I threw it on this pad that I have here last night before I went to bed. The battery was down at like 40%. In the morning it was 100. So I don't know how fast it charges, but it's fast enough for me. It charges overnight and that's that's what I need. I mean, one thing with this phone is, you know, I'm getting all day battery life. I've had this thing on since like like 13 hours now and I'm still at 70%. So I'm going to do a, a little close up, let you show you how this thing fits. It fits pretty good. I think it's technically made for a, a six ed or a six uh, plus. This is a six S plus. So um, the buttons are. I don't know if it's by design or, you know, if they're just slightly different. Because I thought the six plus and the six S plus were kind of exactly the same case, but the buttons are just a little bit off. So on the on the power, you have to hold down just a you know a little bit too hard. And if you're doing it a lot, it, it you know that's no fun. But anyway, the, the case is good. Um, it, fits, it fits nice and snug. It offers a little protection, especially around the side. The back, not so much, because the, the Qi pad is there, but I guess that'll break before your phone will. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works great. On this little pad here, I got a blue light when it is charging, so you just throw it on there, and a couple of seconds, the blue light comes on. The iPhone says it's charging, and it's good to go. Um, so I'm going to do a close-up on this, show you how, to, how it goes on, show you how tight it fits, and then, uh, you know, if you want one, the link's in the description, um, or you can check on Amazon, see if there's other ones. Uh, just remember, get the one with the little Thunderbolt thing that moves out of the way so you can still use the cable. Some of them, like just the, the, the flat uh, pads that kind of go in between your phone and whatever case you have, they're so tight that you can't move them out of the way. So if you want to, you know, charge, you got to take the whole or charge by the cable or sink or whatever. You got to take the whole case off, which is a real pain in the butt. So let me show you close up and you can make your own decision. All right, guys. So this is all it is. I didn't bother doing an unboxing on this because it's literally the case in the box and that's it. No instructions. Well, there's instructions on the box, but no separate thing. So there's no point. So this is the case. It's uh, you know one of those flexible cases. This black in the back, that's the uh, Qi wireless charging receiver. And then it attaches to the uh, Thunderbolt little adapter here that, that I was talking about. And again, the nice thing is it moves out of the way there. So that's it. I mean, it's uh, thin, flexible. It offers a little bit of protection on the side, not a whole lot on the back. But it's real easy to... You know, slip it in there. You just pop your phone in. Right? And then at the bottom here, you just take the Thunderbolt, pop it in. And it's real nice because it, uh, you know, it, it's flush against there, so it's not sticking out. You don't have a nub on the bottom there. And that's pretty much it. I got a wireless charger here. I'll just bring it in. You throw the phone on there. It's charging. There you go. No wires, no mess, no nothing. So that's uh, one thing that I was really missing from my S7 Edge was the uh, that wireless charging. 
there's some other things maybe I'll do a full review but for right now that's one thing overcome thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time again if you have some uh, video ideas or comments go ahead and leave them in the description and I'll see you next time